Okay, here we go. Hello, everybody. Had a little technical difficulties, but I am back. Uh, welcome back to Gary Schumacher Exposes False Prophets here on YouTube. If uh, you are uh, never caught my show before, please like and subscribe. Um, need those need those subscribers. Keep this algorithm, this crazy algorithm YouTube has got going on here. I can't figure it out. But uh, please, you know, smash that like button and subscribe. If you like my content, oh, what's going on? My voice here. So I have a good one for you tonight. I have a guy named Barry Winch. Wunch? Wunch. Barry Wunch. There it is. He's, his name lands in an S-C-H just like mine. You think I could be able to say that, right? So anyway, he is on Elijah Shoes, but he's on with Kelsey O'Malley. Poor, I, you know what? I actually like Kelsey O'Malley. This poor creature has to, has to interview the the wackiest people, and she does it with just such, you know, seems just like such kindness. <laughs> you know, I mean, she's just I don't I don't know. She's the, the look in her eyes is like you know it, it's a living. You know, I I don't know I don't know what's going on if she believes him or not, but you know even with Cat Kerr, she just seems so sweet, but she's so taken in by these people. And I just don't know what's going on with her. But, uh, yeah, my heart does go out to her, and I hope she finds uh, some finds a better line of work than uh, have to deal with these, these people. But anyway, I digress. I am uh, I do go off on chant tangents. So um, the story behind this guy is that he, when the Holy Spirit grabs a hold of him and he's doing his prophetic word, he goes into these convulsions. Okay, where his body starts to shake and all this, he can't hardly talk, and he, he doesn't have Tourette syndrome or anything like that. I've seen him do interviews where he's uh, he's completely normal. It's only when he does these prophetic words, where he goes into these crazy convulsions, and uh, you you just have to see it for belief. If you haven't seen him before, gear up because you know you <laughs> you you're you're not going to see anything like this again. Uh, so let me switch on over to him here. And that's uh, Kelsey O'Malley, a poor creature I told you about. And this is him, Barry Wunsch, okay? And he is going to give us a prophetic word. So hold on to your seats, folks. So it's this is just like, this is as raw as it came. Mm. So Israel, Israel, the apple of my eye. Oh, how I long for you once again. O oh, Israel, my beloved, I, you, uh, O oh, Israel, my beloved, have you had enough of your oppressors? O oh, my precious Israel, you've been infiltrated by deep and dark forces. <laughs> oh. Okay, so if you haven't noticed, <laughs> that is him going, that's the Holy Spirit grabbing him right there. And he, he will do this repeatedly through this prophetic word. Uh, he just goes in these uncontrollable convulsions. Now, he's no, he's no better than the rest of these people, okay? It's just, he, this is just his shtick and how he's getting noticed. And boy, I took notice. Oh, my precious Israel. Huh, this deep state has overplayed their hand. The eyes of my people are being opened up now. Israel, <laughs> the eyes of the nations shall be upon you once again, for I'm putting you on display for the world to see, for I'm about to move across this land that I love. I'm going to drive out the evil, and I'm going to drive out the enemy from your midst. It will be by my hand, so no man can boast. For I have a remnant in Israel. And the, the best part about this video is, is watching Kelsey O'Malley. How she sits here and keeps a straight face through this is beyond me. I... I'm sorry. I would be losing my. I would be losing it. I would be losing. Really, really, dude. Are you all right? You need a doctor. What's what's going on with you? Are you all right over there? But she just sits there and smiles and. Uh, she's that poor thing. 
and they know me intimately, and I know them. And I'm going to empower them by my spirit to do what I have called them to do. There will be exposure on the highest levels you didn't see coming. The smoke and mirrors are coming down. I'm releasing my fire How? on the Knesset. How? And the false prophets of How media did she do it? How? are coming down. They will start inward fighting. How? And it will destroy them as they try to cover up and blame shift. How? In the end, there will be nothing left of them. So for this is why I'm raising up grassroots media. How? You will see my hand of favor upon them. Do not be dismayed or fearful as things shake apart. How? Trust me as I shake apart what has to go and as I rebuild and restore the apple of my eye. You will see miracles how? in your fields and on your land, abundant how? crops and harvest. Mm -hmm. And the streets will once again be filled with dancing, singing, and celebrating. For Israel, this is going to be your finest hour. How? My favor and my blessings are about to overtake you. Israel, freedom, truth and justice how oh, being released over you in this hour okay we really i wish that show try not to laugh is still on television because kelsey o'malley would totally win that because i can't last i couldn't last two minutes with this guy and i've watched this clip several times and he's still busting me up here i'm sorry and as quickly as you were locked up, how you will be released. How? Israel, there is nothing coming that I won't show you. That was a big one. So you can deal, handle it with me. Nothing shall be a surprise to you. Israel, you will sound the alarm that the world will hear. Ho, oh, Israel, you will lead the charge and I will be with you and I will protect you and I will supernaturally empower you to lead you to the victory. Those who stand with you, I shall bless. And those who stand against you, I shall resist and bring them to their demise. Israel, your role is clear. How to lead the way. I have been with you in the past. How? And I'll do it again. Turn to me with all your heart once again. Draw unto me in prayer and fasting. How? Turn from your wicked ways. And yes, I'll heal your land. How? Prepare for the prodigals. How to return for their being mm -hmm. awakened in this hour. Welcome them with open arms, for they are end time harvesters, and my grace and my favor shall rest upon them, and they shall advance quickly. Mm -hmm. Israel. <laughs> oh, my. And I got to give it to Kelsey O'Malley, she's every once in a while you just hear, hmm, come out of her. <laughs> oh, I don't know how she does it. Your finest hour is upon you, that I'm breathing whoo, new breath and new life into you. Whoo, prepare for celebration. A new dawn is upon you and is about to break on the horizon. You will not be silenced. Oh! You will not be taken out, for I am with you, and I am the Lord of hosts. Israel, you're a catalyst. How? Oh, and you're a threat to the evil one, and they know it. So when they come at you, it's no surprise. How? Oh, they will play right into my hand, and your protection and your victory is assured oh, in me and with me. Hmm. And it surely is the sun rises in the east. 
and sets in the west. Shall my victory how, prevail not only over you, my beloved Israel, how, but over the nations at large. How, the enemy's strongholds shall come down like a house of cards. Nation, ho, after nation, ho, they will fall as my ecclesia take their place with me. Hold fast, ho, do not lose heart. Stay strong, stay bold, ho, and be of great courage, for I am with you. Ho, the holy is the word of the Lord. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So that is Barry Wunsch and at his finest. Unbelievable. So yeah, you know what? I spent so much time laughing at that. I just, I, it's hard to follow along with his prophecies. But his prophecies are just like the rest of them. A cat cur and, well, he's no, he's no cat cur, that's for sure. But no, he doesn't talk about bubblegum houses in heaven. But uh, yeah, <laughs> he hit something else. And I don't know how anybody can listen to him and get a prophetic message all over the, ah! Ah! you know, and all that going on. I, I just don't, uh, I, I don't see it, you know. Um, I know he's talking about Israel and how it's got to be, uh, it's got to be set, you know, in his way. This was from back in February 2020, 2022, I believe. Uh, I'm sorry, January 14th, 2022. So this was a while back. Uh, just like the rest of the, of the gang of, uh, of false prophets that are out there, none of his prophecies have come to pass. Um, and not only that, he just keeps them vague and generalized. Uh, he doesn't really go out there on a, on a limb predicting election results and things like that. He's just telling Israel, you know, be nice and I'll heal your land and, and that type of thing. Um, which, uh, you know, through all his moans and groans and screams and everything like that. But I just thought I'd bring that out to you on a Monday night. Because, uh, yes, Barry Wunsch, I think I'm saying his name right, is just a character. I first came uh, in contact with a clip of him uh, watching Drew Bloom 34. And if you watch Drew Bloom's opening, he has this awesome new opening he just started about a month or so ago. Where, he, you know, he, he shows all these false prophets, you know, yeah, in the beginning, and there's music playing, and there's a huge buildup, and and at the very end, it's it's Barry Wunsch. I have to keep looking over his name, <laughs> the bride of pronounce it, and he's in the middle of doing one of his things, and it it just ends as the show starts, and it's if you watch it, you gotta watch it. It's a great opening, and uh, very well done. Whoever did that for uh, for Drew. Excellent job. Uh, I, I need to hire you. <laughs> I've, been, I've been playing around with all this stuff for a while now. I'm not really good at it. So, But alrighty. So that was that was Barry Wunsch. I'm going to just break off a little bit here and just uh, kind of go through um, some of my, um, my comments I've been getting. Um, like I said, good and bad here. Let's see. My channel... I oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. So, um, yeah, I've been getting some very nice comments from people. Get a lot of likes and thumbs ups and things like that. So, um, and then, of course, I got my haters, you know. But uh, I like giving some shout outs here. Uh, Ken, again, I, I want to say this, okay. I messed up his name the other day. It is Matthew715, okay. I call them Matt's. Matt seven fifteen because I have a I have a nephew uh, Matthew um, who sadly just passed away and I, we always he always went by Matt and um, he he had uh, cerebral palsy and, and we love him and miss him very much and uh, so yeah that's um, that's why I, I just when I see the name Matthew I just go by Matt you know so Matt Matthew seven fifteen um, I am sorry I, I and I I love your content and. Um, Thank you. Keep keep doing what you're doing out there, and thank you for subscribing to me. Um, let's see who else we have here. Yeah, let's see here. Okay. Okay. So I have a uh, someone named Nancy Sprague commented. 
on my video about um, and I, I just I still can't get over this uh, this video I did on um, on uh, let's see excuse me on uh, Mario Murillo I mean I still that's the other thing I can't figure out uh, YouTube's algorithms most of my videos I get two three four hundred uh, views on this one I got eight thousand views on I don't know what was so fascinating about Mario Marilla differently than any of the other uh, people I did, other than he had, he has, uh, you know, hopefully seen the light and turned the other way. So, you know, that is rare in this uh, community, I should say. So maybe that was the fascination with that particular video. Um, and I got love and hate responses on that. Um, like I said in the, in the video myself, I'm, I don't know whether or not to believe he's going to do it. He's going to stick with it. So far, he's stuck with it, Mary Murillo, but, and I hope he does because we need somebody like him with a platform as big as his to put the word out. He's, uh, he's, he's naming names. He named Kat Kerr. He named uh, uh, Robin Bullock, you know, his two names. And um, again, I, gotta, I have to thank um, Matthew715 for that clip. Um, that was outstanding, outstanding work he does there. And... Uh, saves me a lot of hours of watching stuff <laughs> i will have to say because it is mind-numbing to watch these prophets and they drone on and on and on and oh, oh, amanda grace i had to i had to do, just recently done a video on her and i had to speed up i had to speed it up because she does not get to the point she will drone on and she'll she'll start to talk about her prophecies. Then she'll jump into her animals and da 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 da. So I, I sped it up a half a click, right? Don't you know? I got a lot of good responses on that video, but don't you know I had one woman, well, I'm not going to mention her name. You can look her up in the comments, tell me, you sped her name up so much, I couldn't even understand what was going on. <laughs> okay, if you don't understand, put the closed caption on. I have that available for you. So, but I. I didn't I had I had gotten good responses on that video I only had one hater on that one but uh, so yeah I will uh, yeah just keep them coming here but anyway uh, Nancy Sprague here says why why would this woman need money from people can anyone tell us of any words given by any of these people that have come to pass Holy Spirit enough more than enough Holy Spirit is enough, more than enough. He's all we need. Hallelujah. God be with you all. And uh, that was from, and thank you, uh, Nancy. I appreciate that. And that is the truth. Holy Spirit should be all we need. He, you know, Jesus left this planet. And before he left, he said, if I don't leave, the Holy Spirit won't come. He sent the Holy Spirit here as our teacher. We don't need these false prophets, people, you know. And uh, like uh, Ronnie Hawley said, Mario is pretty awesome. There's a lot of positive, good prophets out there. Well, honestly, um, Ronnie, I don't know if there's any. I, I've never found any on YouTube. I don't know if he is still prophesying. I don't think he's a prophet. Um, I think that uh, he was caught up in all of this, and he's calling out the false prophets now, which I love, you know, and I hope he keeps doing it. And uh, let's see. There's another, another comment here from Roger Eastman. Uh, Mario never apologized for any of his Trump comments because he never said Trump was going to win. Um, yeah, that's true. He never, he never really, he was one of the few that never predicted uh, Trump was going to be president, but he made a lot of other false predictions that didn't come to pass. And so uh, I, hope, I hope he's changed his, uh, his tune on that. Uh, all right, so let me just get some things from today. And again, I'd like to thank you for all the well wishes over the, the Easter holiday for my family. Um, I, I, and I love that I'm getting, I've only been on uh, YouTube here a little over a month. And I'm creeping up on 200 subscribers. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't know what had happened. I was averaging a few subscribers every day. Then all of a sudden, for like a couple of days, nothing. I was like, what is going on? I, I thought maybe I got shadow band or something i didn't know what was going on so i made another video and all of a sudden the subscription started coming back so you can never tell you never can tell with youtube you know what one, one day the the algorithm loves you the next day it hates you so it's very 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 odd um so let's see here did nancy 
Okay, so, um, I, and I hope I am saying this name right. It's J and then a YI. So J-I, I hope. I hope it says. Uh, Thank you for bringing the light of truth in God's world to dispel the darkness in the lies of false prophets, preachers, teachers, and false Christ slash false anointed ones. It is said that, and then um, um, unfortunately, she's cut off here. That's very strange. It doesn't even say read more. So, but J Yi, I think. Thank you very much for your comment. I do appreciate that. And um, then I, I got one today from uh, a, a, a Salty Saints. And Salty Saints had a lot to say. Um, and I am going, to, when I get a chance, I'm going to read that because I got to take some time here. But thank you for that, Salty Saints. She's, uh, I, I, she's, I don't know if Salty Saints is a man or a woman. Um, it's kind of a generic name, salty, meaning sailor, and uh, which, I, which I was, and um, so. Uh, but uh, I don't know, uh, and I, I am going to read into the Easter thing and and the uh, the uh, whole story behind that. Um, but as far as what Easter is to me, is you know, the the day that uh, Jesus rose from the dead. Um, I'm not going to. Uh, play anything else into that I know what it is and why I celebrate it and I don't you know I don't my kids are older now when they were younger they we colored eggs and all that stuff now they're, they're teenagers now so I don't know that I still get them a chocolate bunny because I like to spoil them but uh, you know but uh, yeah I I, uh, I I never could growing up understand the whole premise behind Easter and my parents were kind of novice Christians um, you know my father would uh, go to church when you know whenever the mood hit him yeah you know? <laughs> so, um but uh so i would ask him questions about that he, he never had any answers for it. it wasn't until i got older and i and i got into the uh the body of christ that i i started wondering about these things you know really really wonder um i did not know anything about this whole pagan thing so i really do like to think i had many uh comments on that and um and there's a lot here. There's a lot, and pe- there's a lot of people who know a lot about it. I'll tell you that because I got a lot. I got a lot of reading to do, <laughs> so, and uh, and I want to learn about it. Um, listen, I am not the the uh, most studied Christian on the planet, and um, but I do know a false prophet when I see one, and and I've been thirsty, you know, for knowledge, and I've been chasing Christ for years now, and I'm not going to stop running. I'm chasing him, and he doesn't have to chase me. I'm chasing after him. I follow him wherever he goes. Um, this world has just turned to a very dark path, and if you don't see that every single day, oh yeah, when you know in our everyday lives, you see it. You see the Book of Revelations playing out day by day. It just and I to the point where I don't even watch TV anymore. I don't watch the news. Um, I used to be into politics. It, it, it's, the po- politics, especially in this country, is just disgusting anymore. There, you don't know who the good. There is no good guys and bad guys to me anymore. There's just bad guys. They don't care about this country. They don't. There, there's a lot of evil up on that Capitol Hill. There really is. And uh, there's, uh, there's just no one to trust except the Lord. And that's what I keep my faith in. The things that are, are going to happen are going to happen. And that's all there is to it. So keep your faith, everybody. Pray. Fast and pray. And uh, give your if you haven't already given your life to Jesus Christ, give your life to Jesus Christ. He's at the door knocking. Just let him in. Don't let these false prophets in. Especially ones that knock on your door and go, Oh, like this guy just did tonight. So... Um, because they're all phony baloney. I know I say that a lot, but it's true. And we are the body of Christ. The, the, you people that tune into my channel and see it the same as I do. The, the one I'm talking about the ones that don't send me these horrible uh, messages. The ones that send me messages and agree with what's going on here and see what's going on. You're the ones I'm talking to. And also the ones that send me all the hate 
messages I'm talking to you too open your eyes and see what's going on in front of you stop drinking the Kool-Aid okay you don't need these prophets you need Jesus Christ I beg of you if there's any of you out there that have gotten this far in this video please look at me I'm looking at you right in the eye stop it okay Jesus Christ stopped being enough for you years ago and you need this on a daily basis or a weekly basis you don't he's do we have a Bible and we have prayer and he's there for you not these not these false prophets not these loony texts okay all right so I want to let it go. Wow. That was, I, I was going to do a five-minute video. I want to, here's going on 26 minutes. I do ramble. All right, folks. So I guess that's, I guess you guys have had enough of me and uh, old Barry tonight. So Barry and Gary. It's a Barry and Gary night. So God bless you all. All right. And I want to end in a prayer. I want to pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord in heaven, thank you for blessing me with family and friends and thank you for blessing me with the people who have tuned into my channel tonight to fellowship with me i hope that i open the eyes and maybe just if, if it was just one person that tuned into my channel tonight and i opened their eyes to get them away from this false doctrine this false prophecy this nar thing that's taking over um christianity you know either you sit in said in the Bible that there would be a great falling away and I don't think the great falling away is people not being Christians it's people being fooled by false prophets and false teachers that is the great falling away and we need to get them back and please Lord if I can just get one person tonight to change that would be awesome I know it's an up here battle and I'll take all the all the uh, disrespect that I get from these people who email me and tell me you know hurtful things but it's worth it and I'll do it for you you took a lot worse for me and with that Lord I pray in Jesus name amen okay folks that will do it um, I hope you have a blessed evening and God bless